like all Capcom games, and games in general these days, they eventually have to start sucking. You guys know, I'm not a cynist. Well, yes, I, I actually am kind of a cynist, but it doesn't take a cynist or a pessimist or whatever you want to call it to realize that this new Dead Rising game is not going to be a system seller, especially since it's on PC and going to be on Steam, too. It's real smart thinking, Microsoft, you're really going to move consoles like that. It's genius. I've been a fan of the series since the 360 came out. Dead Rising was a really nice exclusive that came out around the launch of the 360. It wasn't anything nice looking. I mean, keep in mind, the first Gears of War game came out just a few months after this, but no one gave a shit about the graphics because it was a fun game. It saw something gamers hadn't seen in a while, especially from Capcom. It was a time management game, but more so a time management zombie killing game. And that hadn't really been done before yet, not really in this style. The game was great because anyone could play it and have fun. See, the story is kind of a bitch to complete. There are some psychopaths that are a pain in the ass, plain and simple. Then there's overtime mode, which is an even bigger pain in the ass. You know, you could get kidnapped, try to save a survivor, and you know, they all have the collective IQ of a loaf of bread. Or you could die, and you'd have to restart from your last save. No checkpoints. All of which takes away from your total time, and if you run out of time, you gotta restart. In the end, the game treating you like shit pays off when you kick its ass back, you know, you unlock the Mega Buster, the Laser Sword, and after hours of grinding, you finally conquer the game. And that's just a great feeling. But for people who don't want to do that, you can just say fuck it, and play, you know, for fun. No time limit, nothing like that. So it, it really appealed to everybody, you know. And that's, that's why the first one's my favorite. And now, just like every other Capcom series, when Dead Rising sold well and scored well, Capcom was like, oh, whoa, guys, we made something good. Oh, time to go multiplat. Dead Rising 2 is a very different story. You're seeing Dead Rising off the record because basically it's a better version of the game. Dead Rising 2 is definitely a lot easier. It has checkpoints which isn't frowned upon, it just makes things a lot less tense. Also, the combo cards is definitely something I have to touch on. Now, as, as ridiculous as it gets, like when you combine a pipe and a firework and you get a minigun, yeah, as ridiculous as that gets, I get it. They thought, you know, they had to spice it up a little. It's okay. But when they did that, the ordinary factor of the game is out of the window. Dead Rising 1's a fun and novel idea because I can pick up a shelf and smash an old man with it, or uh, run over zombies with a lawnmower. Cool little ideas, you know, you can make up on your own. With combination weapons, it kind of feels like the game's trying to make you think you're creative, and it, it doesn't really work. A lot of them are useless, and then the ones that aren't are just OP, like the fucking laser sword. You got a weapon that you had to grind days for in Dead Rising 1, made in two seconds with gems and a flashlight. Overall, Dead Rising 2 and its non-canon sidekick are not challenging in the slightest, but they're fun, especially in co-op. Getting challenges done and doing the cases with a friend can be a really good time, even if the game is easy. Dead Rising 3 is where things started to slip. The first big sin is taking us out of the mall. There isn't even a mall in the game. See, this is an illusion created by the developers. They try to make you feel like you aren't in a box, but really, the world actually feels smaller than the other games because you have all these cars that are fast as shit. They cashed in on all these really bad DLCs, and it had a season pass that was worthless. The game is a joke. It was too easy to even really have fun in. The world's just too generic. It has no identity. The main character is literally just an anime main character. He has no personality. He's just Nick. Also, no Frank West. A bunch of abandoned shops you can't go inside. There's nothing really in them, which is part of the first and second game's identity, is all the little stores. Dead Rising 3 was plain and simply a mediocre disappointment, next to Off the Record. Now, See, people thought Dead Rising 3 would be good. It had hype, because Dead Rising 2 and Off the Record were so much fun. It wasn't good. So naturally, the hype for Dead Rising 4 isn't really there. 
Now that the loudmouth developers shared a few things, it really isn't there. Most of the hardcore and even some casual fans hate it already. First, no TJ Rotolo. Rotolo, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, TJ. He's the voice of Frank West, the man, the myth. Why in holy fuck would you take him away? Oh, they want a wiser Frank West, because Frank's a really wise guy, right? No, no he's not. Frank West is awesome, yes, but no, he's not wise. Listen, some of you guys might not understand why Frank West is so cool. I'll lay it down for you. In Capcom's library of heroes, you got Mega Man, a robot from the future who's made to blast the shit out of other robots. You got Leon S. Kennedy, who has special training as a Secret Service agent. You even got Phoenix Wright, who might not be an action hero, but his detective work and deduction skills of a genius help him solve cases. Then, you have Frank West. He's underqualified, he's overweight, and somehow he manages to save the girl, beat the bad guy, and basically win against all odds. And I think that's pretty fucking awesome. But let me tell you, I do not see Frank West in this man. How would you feel if 343 said, Hey, you know, we're not really feeling the voice for Master Chief anymore. I think we should bring in Samuel. You know, Marcus Phoenix, I, I just don't see John DiMaggio as him. I think we should get Zoidberg to voice him. Like, no, that doesn't make any fucking sense. You're five games in. Why would you change the voice of the voice actor who's the face of the series? He's been in it for half a decade. And he's shown interest in doing it for the entire development period of the game. Point being, Frank isn't wise. His age wouldn't change that. Being a smug asshole that we love is part of his personality. And when you take that voice away and change his face, he's just a smug asshole. Now, as all of you know, even Dead Rising 3 had a time limit. Why? Because time management defines Dead Rising. It's not just a feature, it is part of the obscure genre that it's in. But oh no, Dead Rising 4 isn't about that. They can't even have a core part of the fucking series. They, they want you to have plenty of time to kill zombies. That's what they said. They said people care about killing zombies more than they do the main story, or even killing psychopaths. Now, I think we can all agree, that's a fucking idiotic statement. That sounds like some something someone who's never played it would say. Why in Baby Moses would anyone go around killing zombies if it does nothing for you? In Dying Light, do you just go around killing common zombies? No! You're killing ferals, doing parkour, collecting drops, objectives. No one just kills zombies. I mean, in Dead Rising 1 there were unlocks, but that's the only reason anyone would just kill zombies. And it wasn't fun, it was grindy as hell. But there was a point to that. If you wanted Dead Rising 1 to be easy, you had to be willing to put in the time and effort to do that. When you remove a time limit, you cater to one audience. The audience that wants to be challenged <laughs> is left in the credits, wondering where the fun part was. Here's a crazy fucking idea. How about, just like the other games, you fail the main story if you don't want a time limit? Well, yeah, then you can play for as long as you want. There, you don't have to leave out a core part of your audience. Oh wait, you're not going to do that. You're not going to fix it. I know they won't. They're too close to going gold with the game. They're not going to fix any of this shit. Why? Why all of this? Now, you could take pictures in Off the Record with zombies. Okay, that's not a big deal. They had that in Off the Record. Why are they pushing the selfies so fucking hard? It's almost in everything I see about the game. And it just makes me not want to buy it that much harder. And the, the exosuit. It, it makes my heart hurt. It's a joke. It actually has to be some sort of joke. They cannot be serious. Why does there have to be mechs in all of my games? Get it out. God. Please, God, get it out. It, it's like they're like, oh, you thought the no time limit thing was bad? Well, we got a deal for you. And the season pass. I, I don't understand what happened, you know. Dead Rising, off the record. It was a good game, man. I don't know what happened. Honestly, honestly, what the fuck? How do you screw this shit up? You know, you screwed the pooch, Capcom Vancouver. Microsoft, I know you had something to do with this, Microsoft. I know you do. 
ever since you guys started publishing this shit, it's been turtles all the way down. And it doesn't, it doesn't take a genius to know this game is <laughs> not looking good, and it, it doesn't, it doesn't look fun. It just looks like x spamming, x spamming, and they're not listening to the fans. Unlike Microsoft, however, Capcom Vancouver, they lie and they say they listen to the fans. Like, oh, oh yeah, we we listen to the fans. We we're going for a feel. We're going for a Dead Rising one feel. Look at this. Look at this. Frank West in a mech suit with a piece of rebar. They're going for a Dead Rising 1 feel. They must have cleaned house since off the record. Because this game is shaping up to be the worst Xbox quote-unquote exclusive of the year. I, I would say fix your shit, Capcom, but it's too late. <laughs> the game comes out next month. You know how much shit they'd have to fix in under a month for this game to be decent? A lot. <laughs> a lot. So, to all you people who bitch and moan, oh, you don't know it's gonna be bad, Destro, it hasn't come out yet. Yeah, I do, it's it's gonna suck. It is going to suck. And when you buy it, and it sucks, I don't wanna hear any bitching. It's like, someone offers you a shit sandwich, and you sink your teeth into it, and you get pissed off. Like, what'd you expect, Nutella? <sighs> I know, I might have sounded heated in this video, and that's cause, you know, I was, I am heated. I grew up with Dead Rising, and it's been 10 years, and to see it just spiraling straight down into the shitter with some of my favorite series really breaks my heart, but what's done is done, I guess. I'll, I'll pick it up when it's $10 with all the DLC on G2A. <sighs> see you guys later.